Hello everyone. Let us today start chapter 1 in teachers solving problem solving that is exercise 1.1. First problem in the exercise. Following number line shows the temperature in degree Celsius at different places on a particular day. Observe this number line and write the temperature of the places. Mark the picture of a number line is given which shows the temperature in degree Celsius at different places on a particular day. By observing this number line, we can find the temperature of the cities as follows. In this number line, we can see that between 0 and 25, there are so many positive numbers and between 0 and minus 10, there is only one negative integer. That means there are two negative temperatures and five positive temperatures. Let us see which place represents what temperature. Temperature at Lahulspati is minus 8 degrees Celsius. As you can see, Lahulspati comes first from the left side. Temperature at the Srinagar is minus 2 degrees Celsius. It comes second from the left side. Temperature at Shimla is 5 degrees Celsius. That is, it comes after 0. Temperature at Uti is 14 degrees Celsius. That is, it is between 10 and 15. Temperature at Bangalore is 22 degree Celsius. By observing this chart, we can easily say that some integers are negative and some integers are positive. B1. What is the temperature difference between the hottest and the coldest places among the above? As per the number line we have observed already, by observation we can say that the temperature at the hottest place is Bangalore is 22 degree Celsius which is a positive integer. The temperature at the coldest place that is Lahulspati is minus 8 degree Celsius which is a negative integer. Temperature difference between hottest and coldest place is positive integer minus of negative integer that is 22 degree Celsius minus of minus 8. Why we are subtracting here? Because they are asking difference. So, we are taking out the difference. Taking out difference is nothing but subtraction. 22 degrees Celsius minus of minus 8 is plus 8. So, the result is 30 degrees Celsius. Hence, the temperature difference between the hottest and the coldest place is 30 degrees Celsius. Next one. for this is from the given number line the temperature at Lahulspati is minus 8 degree Celsius the temperature at the Srinagar is minus 2 degree Celsius therefore the de temperature difference between Lahulspati and Srinagar is minus 2 minus of 8 that is minus 8 that is plus 8 minus 2 plus 8 gives you plus 6 degree Celsius here also we are taking difference between two negative integers but the answer is in positive. Next one. Can we say temperature of Srinagar and Shimla taken together is less than the temperature at Shimla? Is it also less than the temperature at Srinagar? Solution. From the given number line Srinagar is at minus 2 degree Celsius. Temperature at Shimla is 5 degree Celsius. Temperature of Srinagar and Shimla taken together is minus 2 plus 5. Here we are performing addition because they are asking us to take it together. That means to sum. Minus 2 plus of 5 gives you plus 3. Always if the sign, one sign is negative. it will be given to the result. Therefore, the answer is 3 degree Celsius. Therefore, 5 degree Celsius is greater than 3 degree Celsius. So, the temperature of Srinagar and Shimla taken together is less than the temperature at Shimla. Then, 3 degree is greater than minus 2 degree. No, the temperature of Srinagar and Shimla taken together is not less than the temperature of Srinagar. Here comes a next problem. As, uh, per, uh, as per my knowledge earlier we have discussed this problem in video first one but again this is there in exercise so we will discuss again in a quiz positive marks are given for correct answers and negative marks are given for incorrect answers if 
Jack's scores in five successive rounds were 25 minus 5 minus 10 15 and 10 what was his total at the end solution from the question jack score in five successive rounds are 25 minus 5 minus 15 and 10 the total score of the jack at the end will be 25 plus of minus 5 plus of minus 10 Plus fifteen plus ten. This means here we are adding all the integers. Twenty-five plus of minus five is minus five. Plus of minus ten is minus ten. Plus fifteen plus ten. So together, when we add up, it is fifty minus fifteen. It gives you thirty-five. Therefore, Jackson's total score at the end is thirty-five. So next uh, third uh, problem, let us look at the problem once. At Sri Nagar, temperature was minus five degrees Celsius on Monday, and then it dropped by two degrees Celsius on Tuesday. That means it was there in negative temperature. The next very next day, it reached to the positive temperature. What was the temperature of Sri Nagar on Tuesday? On Wednesday, it rose by four degrees Celsius. What was the temperature on this day? From the question, temperature on the what is temperature on Monday is minus two degree Celsius. Minus five minus two is minus seven. That means on Tuesday the temperature was minus seven. Temperature on Wednesday at Sri Nagar rose by. Four degrees Celsius. That is minus seven plus four. Rose means it it will increase. Minus seven plus four gives you minus three. Thus, the temperature on Tuesday and Wednesday was minus seven degrees Celsius and minus three degrees Celsius respectively. Here, as you can see, minus five goes uh, in a negative direction. That is, dropping of the temperature shows the Negative part of the integer line that is minus five minus two will become minus seven, and again it moves in a positive direction that is in a right side of to the right side of the integer line. So again it is minus seven plus four it gives you minus three. Here we are performing both uh, addition. A plane flying at the height of five thousand meter above the sea level. At a particular point, it is exactly above a submarine floating 1,200 meter below the sea level. What is the vertical distance between them? Here, always the positive words or the positive statements are counted to be positive integers in this chapter, and negative statements and the negative words are counted as negative numbers. From the question, plane is flying at the height above the sea level. It is 5,000 meters plus integer. And the submarine is at the depth of the submarine uh, depth of the river that is minus twelve hundred meter that is called minus negative integer. The vertical distance between the plane and the submarine is five thousand minus of minus twelve hundred. Here why minus? Because we are counting it in downward direction. The plane is in sky and the submarine is floating in inside the sea. So we are coming. Down, up, from up to down. So we are taking it as a subtraction. So five thousand plus of twelve hundred because minus of minus twelve hundred gives you plus twelve hundred. So the answer is six thousand two deposits rupees two thousand in his bank account and withdraws one thousand six hundred and forty two from it. The next day, if the withdrawal amount from the account is represented by a negative number, then how will you represent the amount deposited? Find the balance in Mohan's account after the withdrawal. Here, Mohan is deposited two thousand in his account and withdraws. That means he takes out one thousand six hundred and forty-two from it the next day. And again, if he again deposits some money, then what integers we are representing? That we should see. 
withdrawal amount from the account is represented by a negative integer then the deposit amount to the account is represented by a positive integer as earlier i have said always positive terms or words are said to be positive integers negative terms or negative words are said to be a negative integer the total amount withdrawn by mohan was 1642 so 2000 minus of 1642 withdrawal means taking out so we are taking out the money that is 358 therefore the balance in mohan's account after withdrawal is 358 that is plus 358 next one sixth problem rita goes 20 km towards east from a point a to b from b she moves 30 km towards the west along the same road if the distance towards east is represented by a positive integer then how will you represent the distance towards the west by which integer will you represent her final position from the question it is given that a positive integer represents the distance towards east always the direction towards the right will be denoted by a positive integer directed towards the left will be denoted by negative integer so here east is in positive uh, right direction so we are counting it as a positive integer the distance travel towards the west will be represented by a negative integer because it comes on the left side of the integer line rita travels a distance in east direction that is 20 km rita travels a distance in west direction that is minus 30 km therefore distance traveled from a that is 20 plus of minus 30 gives you 20 minus 30 gives you minus 10 so here subtraction takes place because from west again she is going back to sorry from east she is going back to west hence we will represent the distance traveled by rita from a point a by a negative integer that is minus 10 km next question in a magic square each row column and diagonal have the same sum check the following in a given magic square first let us consider square which is given in the above figure by adding the numbers in each row we get five, first row 5 plus of minus 1 plus of minus 4 gives you 5 minus 1 minus 4 that is 5 minus 5 0 next gives you minus 5 minus 2 plus 7 that is minus 7 plus 7 gives you 0 third row 0 plus 3 plus of minus 3 which is 3 minus 3 gives you 0 by adding the numbers in each column we get first row column plus 5 minus 5 and 0 gives you 5 minus 5 0 then second column minus 1 plus of minus 2 plus 3 which is equal to minus 1 Minus two plus three. That is minus three plus three gives you zero. Now third column, minus four plus seven plus of minus three gives you minus four plus seven minus three gives you minus seven plus seven zero. By adding the numbers in diagonal, we get diagonal is minus four minus two and zero plus five minus two and minus three. Here we have two diagonals so plus 5 minus 2 minus 3 gives you 0 minus 4 minus 2 plus 0 gives you minus 6 because sum of one of its diagonal is not so the magical square has all the sums of column and row and diagonal should be zero now let us consider second square by adding the numbers in each row we get zeros that is first row plus 1 minus 10 plus 0 gives you 1 minus 10 minus plus 0 gives you minus 9 minus 4 plus 3 minus 2 is equal to minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 which gives you minus 9 third row minus 6 plus 4 plus minus plus of minus 7 gives you minus 6 Plus four minus seven, which gives you minus thirteen. Plus four is minus nine. 
by adding numbers in each column we get 1 minus 4 minus 6 gives you 1 minus 4 minus 6 is 1 minus 10 is minus 9 second uh, column minus 10 plus of minus 3 plus 4 gives you minus 10 minus 3 plus 4 that is minus 13 plus 4 Zero plus of minus two plus minus seven gives you zero minus two minus seven. One is one, which gives you one minus three minus seven is equal to one minus ten, which is equal to minus nine. Zero plus of minus three plus of minus six is equal to zero minus three minus six is minus nine. This is square is a magic square because sum of each row and each column and the diagonal is equal to nine. We hear all the sums as per a row, column, and diagonals gives the same answer that is minus nine. Hence, it is a magical square. Next comes verification problem. Verify a minus of minus b gives you a plus b. Following values of for the given values a and b, that is a is twenty one and b is eighteen. From the question, if a is twenty one and b is eighteen, as per the verification uh, equation given, a minus of minus b is equal to a plus b. That minus b is twenty one minus of minus eighteen, that is twenty one plus eight. Thirteen gives you thirty-nine. By comparing LHS and RHS, thirty-nine is equal to thirty-nine. Hence, the value of A and B is verified. Second one, A is hundred and eighteen and B is one twenty-five. From the question, same again, we are going to test the same thing. A minus of minus B gives you A plus B. Let us take left hand side that is LHS. A minus of minus B gives you. Hundred and eighteen minus of minus one twenty five gives you two hundred and forty three. Now RHS that is A plus B one hundred and eighteen plus one twenty five also gives you two forty three. By comparing LHS and RHS again, both the values are same. Third one A is seventy five and B is eighty four. From the question A is equal to seventy five and B is eighty four. Verification for a of minus of minus b gives you a plus b. Let us take LHS first. A minus of minus b gives you seventy five minus of minus eighty four plus eighty four gives you one fifty nine. Again, the LHS a plus b seventy five plus eighty four gives you one fifty nine. By comparing RHS and LHS again, here the values are same, which is one fifty nine. Next one, a is twenty eight and b is eleven. Same again. Verify a minus of minus b gives you a plus b. Let us take left hand side. A is minus of minus b. That is twenty eight minus of minus eleven gives you twenty eight plus eleven is equal to thirty nine. Now right hand side RHS is equal to a plus b, whereas twenty eight plus eleven also gives you thirty nine. Both LHS and RHS are equal. Hence the value is verified. Thank you everyone